So today we're going to be unboxing and checking out this pre-wired loaded pig guard I bought from Amazon. Stay tuned. So welcome to the Guitar Manifesto channel, hope everybody's well. So today I'm unboxing this pre-wired loaded pick guard I bought from Amazon. I wanted to sort of check out what they um, sort of sound like and what the quality's like of them. Um, I bought this for $31.99, um, shipped from the UK. If you want it direct shipped from China, which is a bit, you know, <laughs> a bit of a sore point at the minute with the coronavirus, um, they are £19.69. So a bit of a saving if you want it shipped from abroad and have to wait a little bit longer. But this was uh, next day delivery, shipped to the door. Still made in China, so yeah, you may want to disinfect the packaging. But yeah, so let's get it open. And we'll have a little looky see. So these are our Nico Five pickups in the box. You get the pre-wired loaded pickguard. With some schnazzy wiring, I'll um, go into a little bit more detail on that in a sec. So you get a back plate, which is sort of uh, it's all like a vintage colour, which looks pretty nice actually, and some gold screws. If you want to go for the gold hardware, this would look pretty decent actually, but it's got a nice vintage tint to it. So for now, we're going to concentrate just on the pick guard. That's all I'm sort of interested in at the minute. So yeah, it comes in an age white finish with age white volume tone controls and pickups and a five way selector switch. So yeah, El Nico 5 pickups, the pole pieces are not staggered, it's a three ply pick guard. But yeah, it does look really nice actually. I like the age look. So turn it over onto the back. First impressions, there's plenty of shielding, which is a nice little addition there. Again, pre-wired, so you've got your free El Nico pickups, which look pretty smart. They've actually got see-through casing on them, so you can see the copper wiring in there. But they do look pretty sweet, actually. Nicely wired, tucked away. Pots, these are the little alpha pots. No values on them. So I'm guessing they'll be 250k. I will check with a multimeter shortly. Um, got two little capacitors. Again, no readings on them and a little sort of generic Chinese five-way selector switch the wiring yeah it's not too bad I've seen better but in terms of the soldering and what have you it actually looks pretty decent actually not a bad job so I'm gonna put it onto my trusty Robster strap so you're probably thinking, will I be giving this away for March? Uh, you will be right. So stay tuned to the end of the video and we'll be giving this pit guard away to some lucky viewer. So in terms of the wiring, you've got the white which comes off the middle tang of the first pot. So that would be your hot going straight to your output jack. Then you've got two grounds coming off the top of the pot. So one will go to the output jack and one will go to the tremolo claw. So if you've got a hardtail version, you could strap that to the inside of the cavity of the body or just get rid of it, it don't really matter. Personally, I probably would strap it to that, but for this job, I've got the tremolo claw, so I'm gonna be putting it onto the back of there. I've just upgraded my bridge, I've put on a Squire Classic Vibe 60s tremolo. So it's got the Fender style bent saddles. What we're gonna do now is wire it in. Um, obviously for the giveaway I like to keep it nice and simple like last month I sort of got it all ready so you can literally just solder onto your output jacks without having to mess around with parts so I'm literally going to go from that hot to the hot on my output jack which is the wires there that's the hot the black ones are ground one onto there one straight onto the tremolo claw nice and simple so I've got you zoomed in a little bit closer so you can pay closer attention I'm just gonna strip the wires on I recommend getting some wire strippers, there are better quality ones than these but I like to show you if you've only got cheap stuff lying around that you can 
use this sort of thing. You can get these from hardware stores pretty cheap. So I'm using it on the finish setting. So you just literally clip it around, strip the ends of the wires. I'll just do that to all three of them. So what I like to do is just twist them around so it braids the end of the wire. And then I like to tin the end of the wires. So what I do is get my soldering iron up to temperature. And I put a little bit of solder on the tip of the soldering iron. So, then just put a little bit of solder on the ends of them, just makes it a bit easier. Just makes it a bit easier to connect to your other wires. Okay, so that's done. First one I connect is the the hot. So I'm literally just gonna wrap that round a little bit. And then put a little bit of heat to the wire there, and then just let the solder run onto it. And the same again on the ground. Again, heat to the tip of the wire. And just dab a little bit of solder on just till it sort of melts onto it. Right, so that's that done. What I do with these now is cover them up with electrical tape. So for the winner of the pit guard, it makes it nice and easy. You literally just have to connect these two wires there and the Tremolo one, and that's done. Beauty of a Stratocaster, nice and easy to wire up. So you ain't got to mess around soldering to pots or anything like that. And just wrap the electrical tape round just to stop the wires touching. Okay, that's that done. And I feed the wire for the cavity so it reaches the claw behind. Right, because I'll be taking this pit guard off in a couple of weeks, I'm only going to put a few of the screws in and they actually do line up okay. So I'm probably just going to go for just the, the sort of corners, just to hold her in place. But it is a pretty decent fit, you know. Again, this is coming off soon, so there's no point in me screwing them all down. Just got the main corners, so. so I'm just going to raise these pickups a bit. They do look pretty low. Um, I'll give it a measure up before I plug it in, and uh, just make sure they all sit about right. So that's that done. Flip it over, and we've just got that wire there to solder to the claw. So I've just got a little blob of solder just in the middle there. I'm just going to put a little bit more on. There we go, job done. Then just make sure this wire stays out of the way of the tremolo claw. Just tuck it to the side, that'll be good enough. There you go, I won't bother putting the back plate on, I never really do with a strap, if I'm honest, I like it like that. So, yeah, it's got a nice vintage vibe going on there with the Dakota Red paint job and the vintage plastics. So I'm just going to put a set of strings on and we'll uh, plug her in. So a lot of people ask what gauge strings I use on a Strat. I use 9 gauge. So for a Telecaster, a Stratocaster and a Jazzmaster which are all 25 and a half inch scale I like to use 9s. Anything shorter I use 10s. Just so you know. And I like these fender strings and even the, the little balls on the end are all colour coded so you know which strings what and they've got like the Official fender colour, so late plastic blue, graffiti yellow, seafoam green, nickel, candy apple red, and brass.
Right, so we got the Amazon preloaded pickguard on, El Nico 5 pickups, and on the Robster Strat, it's looking pretty sweet. I'm loving that vintage colour theme with this Dakota Red and the matching headstock. It's definitely got a bit of a, a cool vibe to it. So, yeah, three ply pickguard, three single coil pickups, volume two tone controls, 250k pots, five way selector switch, comes with the gold hardware and the backing plate which I haven't put on. Nice and simple to wire up for somebody. Again, for the sake of $31.99 or even cheaper if you want to get it from China, you can completely transform a strap from the basic um, affinity pickups to this. I think these do sound better from what I was just playing. So yeah, I'm actually quite impressed with these. So yeah, looking pretty sweet. Right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna plug her in I'm just I'm not gonna play till backing track or anything today. I'm just gonna play a bit of clean stuff, play a bit of overdriven stuff, go through all the five different positions, and at the end I'll do a little jam just sort of with my favourite sort of sounds out of it. So I guess the next thing, plug her in and see what these our Nico 5 pickups sound like. Right, so I'm gonna work through the five different positions now. I'm gonna play a bit of clean, so I'm gonna start off on the neck pickup. <laughs> So back to that neck pickup now, so we're going to play with a bit of overdrive.
there you go, that was the pre-wired loaded pick guard I bought from Amazon. Um, I actually really like the sound of this. Um, I like all the pickups, if I'm honest, clean or overdriven. Again, I never played to a backing track today, but I can imagine this in the mix will just bite through. Um, it really is a nice Strat sound. On EK5 magnets, it really does sound like a, a Strat should. So if you want to upgrade your guitar, this is a real good um, mod to make. So this pick guard is going to be March's giveaway. So all you got to do to win March's loaded pick guard is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and in the comments section below, let me know why you want to win this awesome Alnico 5 pick guard. Um, it's open to anybody, so I'll ship it anywhere in the world. Coronavirus permitting, because there's a lot going on at the minute, but <laughs> we'll leave that there. But um, so you've got till the 31st of March to get your comments in. Don't forget, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and you can also like me on Instagram, um, just for some bonus points, the Guitar Manifesto. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below why you wanna win this pick guard. Hope you enjoyed today's video. This really does sound pretty awesome, and I do like the look of it. If you've got a project guitar you wanna slap this in, let me know. But yeah, that'll do for today. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay healthy, clean your hands, Let's get through this coronavirus and I shall see you all soon. Peace out.